In today's video, we're going to take a look at the CAS S2000 Junior Price Computing Scale. This is easily one of our most popular price computing scales, and it's a great scale just for standalone use. However, it's also very easy to add a CAS DLP50 label printer to this system. All you need to do is make one change in the settings so that they'll communicate. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to make that one change so that this becomes a plug and play system. Okay, here we are with the S2000 Junior. We've got the scale here. We've got the DLP50 label printer. And we've connected the power cord to the printer. And we've also ran the RS-232 cable from the scale to the printer. If we add something to the scale, you'll see that it printed just lines across. So that means that we need, we need to make one setting change in the scale so that it will communicate correctly with the DLP50 label printer. So how we do this is we go into the user setup mode. And the easiest way to do that is turn the scale off. And what you have to do is press the on off button and the zero key while you power the scale back up. And this can be a little tricky. It can take a time or two to get it to get it exactly right. But we'll try it and see if we get it. And see we didn't we didn't get it that time. So because it's going through the countdown. So if that's what happens, you just try again. So we'll turn it off. And we press the zero key. And now we're in the user setup mode. And so all we need to do at this point is scroll through until we get to the printer setting and then make one change to that. So what we'll do is to scroll through the settings, we'll go ahead and press the zero key. And now that's it. When we're going through different settings, that's a backlight choice. Now here we are to the printer. Now the default is the DEP50. We need the DLP50 for the DLP50 label printer. So we press the tear button. And now we've got the printer that we need, the DLP50. We press the zero button. That saves our setting. And then now we can just go ahead and turn the scale off. And now we'll go back and we'll do another transaction. And we'll press the print button. And there you can see the label that we generated. And we'll do we'll do another one. And now we have our S2000 Junior set up to work with the DLP50 label printer. So it's a complete system, plug and play, ready to go. You had to make the one change in the user settings 